welcome to TV TV Sport and to the MA Hart Stadium at Hernbridge. Today, Christchurch are hosting AFC Porchester in a Wessex League Premier Division match. If you're local to the Bournemouth, Christchurch and Paul area and you've got a load of rubbish that you need getting rid of, give my mate Steve a call at All Clean Waste Management. Next up from me is this coming Tuesday where I'll be at Wimborne Town as they take on Paul Town in the Southern League Cup first round. Back to today and let's have a little shifty at today's teams. Let's not forget today's officials who are diligently checking the lovely new blue nets. That's Lewis Ward, John Bundy and Lewis Coles. Now let's take a look at the league table before today's match. Christchurch sitting second from bottom having taken one win out of their 10 matches. Today's visitors are in 14th, but they've played less matches due to their run in various cups. Current form becomes a little bit more relevant the further you get through the season, but this is where we stand today. The referee's inspection deems the pitch playable, and just a reminder if you like what you see, hit subscribe, and if you like the video in particular, give us a thumbs up. You can also let me know what you think in the comments. So on this bright and sunny autumnal day, this match is brought to you by TV TV. He said, come to Christchurch, I'll show you a bit of romantic sunny weekend. The boat would be long gone. I was kind of expecting a Porchester masterclass today and it didn't take long for that to come into operation. We were four minutes in when the first goal arrived. Yes. Oh, yeah. A thumping shot from Steve Ramsey takes a big old deflection off Luke Ansell's head and deflects past Ollie King to put Porchester 1-0 up. Oh, yes, yeah. We had time for the celebration and for the kickoff, and then for another attack to start. Lee Walt's surging run down the left forces a decent save from Ollie King. Francis is unable to clear effectively, placing it in the path of Ryan Penry, who smashes home for number two with just five minutes gone. Well played, Daddy. Barely 10 minutes in and the pattern of play was becoming clear. It was going to be defence v attack. <laughs> Penry was denied his second by the offside flag. Looking back, it looks like a tight but fair decision. Santos earned himself a place in the referee's black book with this challenge. And then went on to deliver the match's most overhit cross. In fact, deliveries from wide weren't going to prove to be Church's friend today. The lively Penry wriggled himself into another goal scoring chance. And a resulting corner eventually falls to George Barker, who sets his sights on goal. The 
The only thing more persistent than the Porchester pressure was the rain. This time, Sam Pearce gets under the ball and over the bar. Pierce obviously fancied his luck as he had another go. As well as the rain, the half was absolutely drenched in Porchester possession and every time they lost it, they got it back. This passage of play shows exactly what I'm talking about. I think it's probably worth pointing out that I haven't cut any Christchurch attacking clips from this footage. This is exactly how the game was. With the number of chances being created, it was a matter of when, not if, number three came along. And number three came along just before half time. Barker feeds to Ramsey, Ramsey crosses for Walt, Walt finds the back of the net. At the Vatican, White Smoke means a changing of the guard. I wonder what this means. Anyway, half time, and it's Christchurch nil, Porchester free. Second half now, and it's as you were. Lee Walk finds himself through on goal and forces an unorthodox save from Ollie King. And the Christchurch rear guard eventually clear. Santos takes his eye off the ball here and allows it to roll under his foot. Marley Ridge sniffs the opportunity out like a tramp on a portion of chips, creates a diverting run which allows Ryan Penry to do what he does. Penry seems to be a lot like my Cocker Spaniel. He loves playing in the wet weather as well. For no apparent reason, two minutes after the fourth goal, the referee decides to do a test. And look at that, what a bounce. Beautiful. Please take this moment to admire the way the ball rolls freely across the pitch. I've actually been told on social media that this match was abandoned due to dangerous conditions and player safety. The only dangerous thing I witnessed was this tackle by Ryan Ashford on his own player. Oh, 
As Dan Brown struggles to understand what the hell hit him, Ollie Davis is busy trying to make a point. Get on with it, Red! And this is where it gets a little bit confusing. We get a couple of successful bounces and now I'm going to speed up the footage so you can see how the decision to abandon it actually occurred. Remember, he's already done a couple of bounces and was ready to start play. Suddenly, he decides to go and test it about an inch from the goal line. Get on with it! So there you go, folks. That don't make a lot of sense to me, but hey, what the hell do I know? That is absolutely And here's the lead table representing the matches that we're able to finish today. With players and staff representing their views, and one of them getting booked for the pleasure. I'll remind you about subscribing if you like this, and give us a thumbs up if you like this video in particular. I'll be publishing the highlights from Wimbledon Town v Pool Town on Wednesday probably, so join me for that. In the meantime, thanks for watching.